Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the fact that narcissists cannot tolerate your authenticity and what they try to do about it. Because we have to accept that not only are narcissists fake people, but they also hate authentic people. They hate it when they realize that someone is not fake in life the way they are. It bothers them when others find actual enjoyment in the simplicities of life. Authentic people are honest with themselves and others. Narcissists do neither. They are not honest with themselves nor others. Instead, they deceive themselves and others into believing they are something they are not. And when it comes to romantic relationships and friendships with a narcissist, it can seem like not only does the narcissist want to make you happy, but also that you make them happy. They convince you that they would do anything to keep you happy, but it is just a tactic to seduce you and get you entangled into their lives. They also lap up all the positive narcissistic supply they receive during this time. What they enjoy is seeing you fall for an illusion. They enjoy seeing you become captivated and falling in love with the persona that they have created. It fuels their ego to know that their tactics are working. But after they have conquered you or have some sort of control over you, it is no longer acceptable for you to be happy. And the more they realize that you are genuinely who you portrayed yourself to be from the start, it troubles them. Because they realize that you are real and that you are better than them. That is why it disturbs them when others are authentic. How can you be true when they are not? In the mind of the narcissist, this should not be. You need to be fake, miserable, and tormented as they are. Therefore, it also disturbs them when others around them find happiness or are at peace. The narcissist feels like it is their mission to eradicate your peace and happiness with their drama, lies, and confusion. So if a narcissist is in your life, and they realize you are having success in your friendships or romantic relationships, they will try to put an end to that. If they can plant seeds of discord, they will. If they can turn someone against you or at least start looking at you differently, they will. Narcissists love to spread lies or rumors about other people. They use their tongue to cause divisions and distrust. Behind your back, they will work feverishly to take away what you have. It is a simple fact that if a narcissist is in your life, they do not want you to be happy. If they can stop you from enjoying your regular TV show, they will. If they can get you kicked out of a social group, they will. If they can just make you uncomfortable, anxious, or constantly stressed out, they will. The smallest satisfaction you can find in life, they will try to take from you. Because they hate it when people are happy. The only time they can tolerate your happiness is if you are happy for their success, but not because of anything pertaining to you. Growing up with a narcissistic parent is what helped me to realize that there are no limits when it comes to narcissists. It is not enough that they abuse their partners, talk badly about everyone, including their own parents, but they would fight to keep their own children down. They compete with their own children. They would spread lies about their own children. And when that child has managed to separate from that parent and be successful and happy, it bothers them. So whether it is a narcissistic parent, sibling, partner, friend, if your success does not directly benefit them, they will be secretly wanting you to fail. They would prefer to see you fall flat on your face than achieve your dreams or goals. They would prefer that you are anxious and miserable instead of being at peace. Misery loves company 
And that is why narcissists aim to make people miserable. They would prefer it if you fake being happy. They would prefer it if your life was a lie. Therefore, narcissists hate authentic people. And their job is to stomp out that authenticity. They want to stomp out any self-love and self-respect. They exist to kill, steal, and destroy. But our authenticity allows us to discover and admit our brokenness and try to mend it. So even though the narcissist may have succeeded in breaking some of us down, we can rise again. But we must continue being true to ourselves and not let anyone disrespect our boundaries, stand up for what we believe in, and not compromise our values. Okay, that is it for today's video. As always, I hope it was helpful. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Many thanks for listening. Thank you.